Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today's video is going to be another installment of Backtrack, which is where I share with you all of the hikes that I went on the previous month. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon family. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I make a new video. If you want to help support the continuation of Hike Oregon, make sure to support me over on Patreon where for as little as just $1 a month, you get a ton of extra extra content for me. Okay, let's get into the video. The Aubrey Butte Loop is not an official loop, but on the map I saw that I could connect the Eugene to Crest Trail and the Aubrey Mountain Trail to make a 7.7 mile loop. This trail is just minutes outside of Oak Ridge and the trails were in perfect condition. It really made for a great winter hike with some elevation gain, views, and a beautiful forest to walk through. On January 9th, I went to the big island of Hawaii, so the next few hikes are all on the island. The Akaka Falls Loop is at the Akaka State Park and is a paved path through the jungle to a stunning waterfall viewpoint. This hike was super easy and very family friendly. Rainbow Falls is located near Hilo and was an easy quarter mile jaunt to a waterfall viewpoint. We kept going upstream a little bit on a footpath and got to see a grove of the amazing banyan trees. We went to the Volcanoes National Park one of the days and checked out the steam vents. This was a very easy gravel trail and the trail connects with the Crater Rim Trail but the steam vents ended after a bit so we turned around. Our next hike at the National Park was the Byron Ledge Trail. We had this whole trail to ourselves and it took us through a Mars-like landscape to the edge of the volcano crater where we could look inside and see it steaming. It was late in the day and we watched the sunset at a beautiful viewpoint. The Puna Trail was recommended to us by a local and it is located between Pahoa and Hilo. This hike is a total of 5.5 miles round trip and takes you through a dense jungle where all of the roots and rocks are super slippery. You really have to watch your every step to make sure you don't fall so it took us a long time to finally reach the secluded beach at the end. This trail is the only way to get to this beach and the cove is protected by rocks which makes it a great haven for sea turtles to come and sleep. We were doing a scenic drive from where we were staying in Pahoa. I found this random trail on my Gaia app that went to a lava tube so we decided to check it out. It wasn't very long but you could tell not very many people frequent this trail. It was pretty cool though and in the barren landscape we found where there was an opening to a lava tube. The opening was a bit precarious so we didn't go inside. Now we are back in Oregon. The Wapiti Trail is among the large network of trails in the Cape Mountain Recreation Area near Florence. We had originally planned to do a loop, but were stopped by a raging creek, so it ended up being an out and back hike. The trails in the Cape Mountain area are so beautiful, lined with huge ferns and moss, and the forest is just stunning. Even though it's really close to Florence, every time we have been here, we haven't seen any other hikers which we absolutely love. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below what your favorite hikes of January were. I'd love to hear and maybe what adventures you're going on in February. If you don't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I post all of my recent hiking and backpacking adventure pictures. And if you want to hike and backpack here in this amazing state of Oregon, check out my website, hikeoregon.net, and you'll find tons of information there as well as get access to the hiking guidebooks that I've written over the years. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next adventure.